Hello guys and welcome back. Okay, as you know on page 185 that Mr. Muldoon he was he was running after the two boys Patrick Magnus and Crazes Eddie. Now let's let's see what happened to the signal for Eddie and me, Eddie and Patrick Magnus to start running. And they started running but they continued running which we did and we continued running and, uh, until the thunderous sounds of Mr. Muldoon Clod Hubbard boots faded behind us. Clod Hubbard boots here guide is a kind of heavy boots that Mr. Muldoon was wearing in his feet. So Mr. Muldoon now he was running after the two boys but of course the two boys that were so fast and they were faster at him so his Blood hoppers boots or his boots shoes faded, disappeared. Why? And they couldn't see Mr. Muldoon anywhere because they were so fast. After this, and still we ran out finally, out distancing even the nostril searing smell of Eddie's father. And now, even because they were so faster than him, they didn't even. Uh, see or smell Mr. Muldoon's or Eddie's father and after this we'll see that Eddie he will he will go so fast to his mother and why because he will uh, he will ask of course his mother for protection because he wanted to be safe because his father was so angry let's see this was the signal for Eddie and me to start running which we did, and we continued running until the thunderous sounds of Mr. Muldoon's clodhopper boots faded behind us, and still we ran on, finally outdistancing even the nostril-searing smell of Eddie's father. Eddie eventually made his way home and placed himself under the protective custody of his mother. This was the signal. Protective custody here, it means caring of his mother. So... On this page, guys, we we'll, we know that the two boys they were running very, so fast until they disappeared because Mr. Muldoon he was running after the, uh, them because he was so angry about all of this because they were in a real danger and Edis quickly he went home to his mother and he wanted to find protection or he wanted to be safe. Okay. On page 188, let's see what happened. Okay, let's see. Until Mr. Muldoon's rage subsided into the odd little facial tick that was to remain with him for several months. Mr. Muldoon's rage or his anger because he was so angry subsided, it means disappeared. Now he started to come down. But he still has the odd little facial take, or he still has some, um, you, uh, some angry uh, expressions on his face because he was so angry, which is still remained for him was several months. Imagine that you are so angry, and you look at your head or you look at your face in the in in the mirror. For example, so you will find some facial tick, so you'll find some anger, muscles or uh, expressions on your face, which will remain. It can be for hours, for days, for months, anything, okay? In the ruckus at the skunk ladder, Eddie had been hit in the face with a slight charge of skunk spray. Worried at first that the spray might have affected his brain, Mr. and Mrs. Muldoon finally assumed there would be no lasting ill effects. Twenty years later, however, Crazy Eddie became a PhD in chemistry. What happened to the two boys at the end? At the end, in the skunk ladder, Eddie had been hitting his face because of the uh, skunk spray. Skunk spray, so he was hit in his face by the skunk spray and he was so worried about himself at first but the spray or he thought that this spray it might have affected or caused any hurt to his brain 
at first but Mr. and Mrs. Muldoon calmed him down okay and they told him it would be no lasting ill effects or you will be very good and it will leave it will never leave any bad effects okay and after 20 years later later okay however crazy Eddie became a doctor PhD there's a kind uh, yani, uh, something like a master but it's better than this he became a doctor in chemistry of course this is the end of the story uh, and we have to learn again the same question if we want to change something boring in our life how can we change our our daily habits how can we change our uh, ordinary events and find fun and find adventure will or where the two boys able to find adventure or fun or not in my opinion and and this is for me of course not for you yes you yeah it's your right to find adventure to find uh, fun but you have to keep safe you should not put yourself in a dangerous trouble okay so at any time they uh, they can cause hurt to themselves so you can find fun enjoy your time but you have to take care you have to watch out and pay attention thank you for everyone i think it was a very good story and i hope you all enjoyed the skunk letter thank you and have a nice time bye